Tino here at the Cosmetic Surgical Center of El Cerrito. Go ahead and frown so we're gonna show your muscles right here. She has very, very strong muscles. This is a uh, frown Roman numeral three, basically. Uh, these are the corrugators that bring the eyebrows together. And this is the procerus that brings the eyebrows down. And so we're gonna release this with uh, this sport today. First off, we are going to go to the insertion of the procerus here uh, at the level of the radix of the nose. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and inject uh, some uh, in here, right? And uh, that's, uh, this sport is uh, a cousin of Botox, basically. <laughs> Uh, this is developed in, in, in Europe, but it is uh, FDA approved here in the United States as well. Uh, and notice how we are, it's a little bit of uh, blood in there. We're gonna go ahead and inject the, the belly of the corrugator muscle in there. Uh, and this is what they call the 11. That's going to basically improve significantly. Relax. And you can see the tail of the, the muscle of the corrugator there, and we're gonna hit the tail as well. So we're gonna put a little bit in there, okay? And we're gonna do the same on the other side, uh, delineated. And these are very superficial injections, okay? very well tolerated and if you're wondering we're gonna go ahead and hit the frontalis and the frontalis muscle we, we use less of the disc port. and if you're wondering what is the difference between uh, this port and botox basically the only difference really for the patient is that the this port starts working in one to three days versus the Botox, which starts in, you know, three to 10 days. Um, but the other differences are really differences for the doctor, the units are different. Uh, for example, 150 units of um, this port are equivalent to 50 units of Botox, but the price here at the Cosmetic Surgical Center is the same. Thank you. you can see that she has a little bit of asymmetry. This eyebrow is a little higher than the other. So, um, you know, we're probably gonna block a little more on this side than on this side, uh, but that's pretty difficult to obtain symmetry. So we go at the level of the mid pupillary line there, and we're gonna give her a little more in here than we are on this other side, because she does have a little bit of asymmetry to begin with. Uh, and that's, you know, not uncommon, right? Some patients, Patients are not completely equal on either side. <laughs> and that was, uh, what was that? A uh, little bit of, uh, up here, so that to prevent the arching here, like Dr. Spock, right? And you can basically have this procedure and go right back to work. You can do it, you know, during lunch and notice how, you know, we're doing the procedure today and you can't really see anything, right? It's very, very, you know, well tolerated and now we're gonna hit the orbicularis muscles a muscle that goes all around the eye and we're gonna hit it on this side first so we're gonna put a little bit in there okay and um, then we're gonna hit it here as well this is for the what they call the lateral canthal lines or crow feet lines over here these these lines that she has there and then we want to go also a little bit in this area uh, under the, the, in the lower eyelid area. We're gonna do the basically the same thing. We're hitting the orbicularis muscle uh, in order to improve this area. I don't know if you can see those lines that, that come around here. See these lines should improve. So Botox is not for, or this were not for these lines here, but it's mostly for these lines here. Nothing below uh, is hit by, by, by this. Uh, medication thank you I'm gonna do the same thing here in the lower lid area uh, for the botox uh, for the disport treatment today so like I said both botox and disport are very well tolerated um, and they have the same risk and complications the disport spreads a little more the units are different 
and it starts acting uh, a little faster. The price is about the same. Uh, the, this port is made in Europe, but is uh, FDA approved here in the United States. Botox made in the United States by Allergan and also approved by the FDA, of course, here in the United States. Thank you. To target the lateral cancel lines or profit line. So we're going to put another extra one there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put another one on the other side right here. And we're pretty much all done with this procedure. How do you feel? Good. Very good. Very good. Huh? Mm -hmm. Easy, easy for you, huh? Yeah. So this okay. is going to start working in one to three days. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you.